Hey, what's happening guys? It's about Nagpal for again, dude. In and uh, just a couple of hours back, we unboxed and took a first look at the new U Eureka. Now, U is a new company that has been launched by Micromax, uh, essentially trying to take on the developer community, trying to tell people that something like what OnePlus did or what Xiaomi did is possible in India as well. Now, as far as first impressions are concerned, we're quite impressed with the way the device is built. It looks good, it looks solid, it performs pretty nice and it has a good set of specs on the inside. So if we talk about the specifications, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 615, a new chipset which runs on Octa-Cores, it comes with 64-bit support, not that all applications or even the OS is taking full advantage of that, but it does come with that support, so maybe in the future we'll see some support for that. Now, uh, the great thing is that it is running Cyanogen and it works flawlessly almost out of the box. So for a price of 9,000 rupees, it possibly doesn't get better than this. We've taken a few pictures as well. It looks good. But in this video, we're going to be running a bunch of benchmarks uh, and also checking out the gaming performance for this device, uh, which is essentially what a lot of people who buy this device at that price bracket are going to be doing, is uh, gaming on this as well as consuming media on this. So uh, let's start off with Antutu and we'll see what the score is like. So not the best performance in terms of the score chart, but for a price of rupees 9,000, again, I keep coming back to that. 28,359 is an impressive score for the device and it possibly doesn't get better than that. Let's take a look at the Nina Mark score as well. So Nina Mark scores a 55 FPS, again, which is pretty good. Uh, 60 FPS would have been good, but we do have a lower Adreno GPU. Uh, which will uh, sort of uh, disappoint some people, but let's see what it actually translates into. Does the gaming performance get affected? So let's start off with one game that we have. Uh, it's called uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Anybody who's done any sort of gaming in his life has heard of this game. Uh, so we'll start off with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And the overall interaction with the game as well as the device seems pretty impressive. Fast, fluid, and the response time is almost negligible. I don't see any frame drops happening while playing the game. And if you guys do, then you should take notice of that. But essentially, it seems to be a good flawless gaming experience as far as Grand Theft Auto is concerned. The volume from the speaker could have been louder and that seems to be my only uh, duress right now because the volume seems to be on the low side for the audio from the game. Watch a bit of the gameplay, then we'll move on. Okay, so the next game we are looking at is Modern Combat 5 and again the gaming response as well as the graphics rendering seems to be quick and responsive. Uh, I still don't see any frame loss uh, while gaming and the touch response as well as the gaming feedback is impressive. Uh, there is little or no load times in the game which again makes it pretty impressive. So the chipset is working well, the graphics are working well, the display seems to be working well. The screen does have this sort of glossy coat on it that does reflect quite a lot, but it actually makes touching the screen quite pleasurable. So if you think of getting an anti-glare screen protector, it will be a great idea to prevent all that glare, but then you might lose a bit of the touch response. Watch a bit of the gaming and then we'll come back. So overall, in terms of benchmarks and gaming, the device seems to perform better than average, but not the best. But that's what you can expect for a device that's only 9,000 rupees. It gives you a good set of everything and it does it well in terms of the way the software is loaded. It's not heavy at all. It's not putting any pressure on the CPU. So when you're gaming, you don't have anything in the background trying to take the power from the device. Uh, we've also sort of checked out battery life on this and it seems to be good for the initial tests. 
but our review will be out in a couple of days so stay tuned for that we'll be doing an in-depth battery test as requested by a lot of you and then our camera video will be up shortly if that is required alternatively we'll put that in the final review as well so leave your questions and comments in the comment section below and we'll try and include whatever we can in the final review make sure you voted for your favorite device in the iGyan Tech Awards 2014 because you stand a chance to win one of the 10 free devices that we are giving away. So make sure you hit that link in the description below and vote for your favorite device. Uh, make sure you hit us up on iGAN.in for all the details and then you can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Well, this has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.